أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد وصحبه وبارك وسلم اما بعد جماعه المسلمين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته الحمد لله brothers and sisters once again we are gathered here for our weekly juma talk juma khutbah may Allah subhanahu wa grant us success and baraka in our interaction and talk inshallah brothers and sisters without the shadow of doubt as muslims we accept that we have received a revelation of haq truth and in this manner the manner of the deen of islam right is a manner of honor and of mercy to humanity as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alamin that we have not seen to you referring to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam except as a mercy unto all of creation and we are part of the of this creation and we have been showered and we are all being continuously showered with this mercy this wahy and this explanation of the wahy the sunnah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and in so doing we have to use this honor of thinking this honor of the aql of the intellect in order to understand deeper and deeper the wonder of this and in so doing we start to realize that the nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was seen to transform human society to a state where by humanity can truly grow as well as construct a defense against confusion stagnation degradation and so forth and i just want to quickly mention at this point in time i see there's a lot of articles going around about signs this and signs that etc within the context of our talk and just very concisely what is science science is observation of the wonders of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and experimentation and from observation and experimentation i was using of the aql we draw conclusions to develop ourselves so like when we can better ourselves we can advance so if we going to say this that and etc then we might as well go back to the age of the camel we might as well go back to living as people lived in the 7th century and we ask is that a viable is that a reasonable thing i leave the answer up to my brothers and sisters brothers and sisters This is the rahma that Allah Subhanahu wa bestows upon us. And this word rahma it comes from the root rahma and the concept rahim which means the womb. Now in other words the as the womb protects the fetus so the fetus is born into this dunya as a human being. into the womb of the dunya so allah says yakhlukukum fi butuni umatikum khalqan min ba'd khalqin fi dhulumatin thalath the creation of the creation takes place in the womb of the mothers and it is covered in three layers allah says dogs is three layers of protection and we look brothers and sisters when we are born into this world the basic three layers bottom layers of the atmosphere that protects us the troposphere the stratosphere the mesosphere in even at between the mesosphere and the stratosphere we have I'm sorry the mes the, the troposphere and the stratosphere we have the ozonosphere the ozone layer this is the beauty the rahmat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this protection is not only for our deeds in a physical material sense 
but also the intellectual protection of our ideas and ideology. When we nurture the mind, the intellect, with the divine nourishment of the Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu And this is a case in point. Over 900 ayah to a thousand refers the intellect or draws the intellect to observe nature. Experiment. Is that not science? And then to draw conclusions so that humanity with the Qudra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can put the spaceship up there, can put men on the moon, etc. and so forth. Is that advancement or not? I leave the answer to my brothers and sisters to think about. So, this brothers and sisters, this is the sirat. This is the way, the straight way of dealing with this life. Not arrogantly. Not by means of greed. But to deal with this life as Muhammad says to us. كُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا كَأَنَّكَ غَرِيبُ عَادِرُ صَغِيرٌ وَعُدُّ نَفْسَكَ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْقُبُورِ Live your life in this dunya كَأَنَّكَ غَرِيبُ As if you are a stranger or عَادِرُ صَغِيرٌ or a traveler, a wayfarer وَعُدُّ نَفْسَكَ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْقُبُورِ And read yourself always to leave this dunya to become one of the Ahlul Qubur Why? Because this is an ever-changing universe it has a beginning, it changes over time, and it has an ending. And within that transit period, we are being given the opportunity to nourish ourselves with the Quran and Sunnah, to make the best of it. As the Arabic saying goes, Ad-dunya mazra'atul akhirah. So that we can use the dunya as a plantation for the next level <coughs> of existence. This is how we should deal. Not that when we deal with the dunya out of greed, it makes us arrogant and cruel and discriminatory. No, but it must make us humble, compassionate, peaceful living. And therefore, brothers and sisters, so the non-implementation or the due to the non-implementation of this divine guidance we see humanity has gone into a state of, of confusion, a state of destruction, a state of strife. And as Muhammad Sallam opposed this destructive menace of the Jahiliya, once again today, we are facing that same situation of opposing and of trying to oppose by means of our rooted belief in the Quran and Sunnah, the destruction of human society again. And as scholar Wahid Din Khan says, and I quote, society is based on a delicate network of human relationships, which under the slightest provocation may become tangled, broken, or distorted. In other words, the delinkages, the fragmentation of society, the disintegration is what the scholar is talking about, which we see happening in front of our very own eyes. And how is this happening? This is happening due to an unfair economic system, an unfair political system, which breeds a horrific social system, as we see today, based upon the crime and fueled by the crime and the corruption and so forth. And as a result of that, we find today all forms of decency, of morality, being opposed and threatened throughout the world by forces of exceptional evil. Brothers and sisters, in the time of Muhammad Wasallam, the standoff, the confrontation, was between Haq and Baatil. But today, humanity, humanity has become so blinded and confused by refusing to really use the intellect 
that the truth is no longer perceived as clear cut and opposed to the untruth. This is because of a self imposed blindness of the glitterings of this dunya. As Allah says to us, and those who blinded themselves in this world will be blind in the year after and further away astray from the path of this ideological blindness. As we see it today, how we become overcome and controlled by our avarice, our greed, our cruelty, and so forth. And as such, today we then find a destruct, destruction being perceived even as a meaningful engagement. And we find this confusion between Haq and Baltil as a really frightening norm. Where society then is increasingly becoming and being held hostage by such ideological blindness and thus becoming increasingly impotent to its fight against this blindness, this intellectual blindness. And of course, this has resulted in a dead consciousness. We don't care. We don't worry. Muhammad says, If you feel no shame, then do as you wish. That's what's happening today. We see today human life is perceived as being increasingly worthless and expendable. We see a defenseless society that has stripped itself of its defenses of moral fiber, which is so indispensable to continuously construct and sustain its moral integrity. So brothers and sisters, what is needed? What's the solution? What is needed is an educational ijtihad, an educational real effort to re-establish the balance of human society, to bring it out of this horrific dislocation. For in this way, once again, a language of reason can be established to extract the universal true knowledge in the sincere explorations along the sacred corridors which the Quran invites us to move along. This, brothers and sisters, is the heritage Muhammad sallallahu brought to humanity 1,442 years ago. A universal way of life. A universal heritage that is able, due to its divine nature, to nurture and realign human social, political, and economic systems all over the world to true growth, true prosperity, happiness, justice, and true peace, insha'Allah. Thus, brothers and sisters, the Heritage Day we celebrated yesterday is no exception. We are the sons and daughters of warriors that stood up to injustice, discrimination, and cruelty. Let us not be judged by future history as having been on the wrong side, as having insulted our heritage and our standing up for truth and trustworthiness by having chosen corruption and untrustworthiness. So let us, brothers and sisters, stand up and explore the sacred avenues and pastures of the Quran Allah says, Fantashiru fil fadli lay. Go into the pastures. Go and graze. In other words, go and develop yourself, enrich yourself. So that we can become a people of truthfulness and trustworthiness that we are capable of. We have, to have the potential. Let us really value our heritage on the basis of one thing and one thing only, and that is on the basis of truth, of haq. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, insha'Allah. Juma Mubarak to each and everyone. Shukran. Wassalamu alaikum.
വരഹമത്തുള്ളാഹി വരക്കാറ്റു